Hey everybody, Cole here with Classic Mini DIY and today's episode is about revealing what's in this box and what will be happening with the forced induction build. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it is finally time to announce the uh, plan, the trajectory, if you will, of the forced induction build and, uh, and what type of forced induction I will be doing. As you can see here, I've got a big box behind me and I will show you guys what's in this box here shortly. But first, if you guys haven't been around for the uh, announcement about this build or what's going on, um, I am doing a full top to bottom build for a forced induction engine. That means that I am going to be building an engine from a bare block, literally nothing associated with it, all the way up to a fully functioning forced induction engine. And my target horsepower, it's about 150. We'll see if I can make it. I'm really excited to bring you guys along with me. But before we get started, two things. One, I have just released a Classic Mini DIY first annual Christmas sweater. And it's actually a hoodie because I don't really like sweaters without hoods, as you can see. Got one on right now. And that is now available until December 31st on my merch store. They will be gone once December 31st passes. These are gonna be once a year type of thing. Totally different design every year. And this year is the first year. So if you wanna pick up something like that and you wanna help support this build, um, head over to the merch store now. Second thing is, let's take a look at the block that I got in the mail, uh, the one that is going to be getting the forced induction build on it before I reveal what I'm doing so you guys have a good idea of what's going on if you haven't been here in the, uh, in the past. Now what we have here is a 1275 GT block. That is a 1275 displacement. It's not been bored over. It's completely bone stock standard and it's a pre A plus. You can tell that because there are no tappet covers on the back here. This is going to be nice, less places for this to leak. You can see it was originally set up for a mechanical fuel pump. This is a, the back side of the block and it's going to be a really good starting point for this whole build. Now one of the reasons I picked this block specifically is one, I wanted a 1275 displacement engine, but I also wanted it to be 1293. What you guys can see here is that it's a standard displacement. And the reason I picked a standard displacement is because I wanted to move up to 1293. With a forced induction build, you're working with boost. And what boost does is it really pushes the strength of your cylinders to their maximum. So basically as you bore a 1275 over, whether you go to 1293, 1310, 1380, what happens is these sidewalls right here get thinner and thinner and thinner. And as a result, they get weaker and weaker and weaker. So you'll find that most folks who do forced induction builds don't go much over 1293. 1293 is a really great place to get to with the cylinders and it provides you a nice level of displacement with a uh, low risk of any sort of blow through or damage to the cylinders when you're adding that boost in here. But as you can see, this thing's in rough shape. It's definitely gonna need some work on the deck here. Um, most of these threads seem to be okay. They're just a little rusty, just need to be cleaned out. And, uh, and yeah, so that is definitely gonna have to go to the machine shop. Now looking at this side of the engine, you'll notice that some of these cap inserts are kind of busted. Um, there are no main caps included in this block, which means it's gonna have to have a line bore. Um, there's all sorts of stuff that's gonna need to get done here. You can see it even has some of the old bearings in it. Um, so it's definitely needing some work under here, um, but nothing we can't handle. Now, I'm pretty excited about this. The engine block is a good base to start off with, but I know you guys are probably just dying to figure out what this box is back here. And I've probably, I've, I've made you wait long enough. Let's go ahead, step over here, and we'll open this sucker up. And there she is, folks. That's right. We are going to be supercharging this A-Series engine. Now, a lot of you might be disappointed that I'm not turbocharging the car, and I have my reasons, and I'll get into why here in just a minute, but the kit I have purchased for my car is the VMAX S-Cart Supercharger Kit. Um, this is made by a guy, Stuart, over in the UK, 
he modifies these superchargers to make them work with our standard A-Series engines. Well, standard. It does take a little bit of work to get them working just the way we want to. These are modified to have a standard pulley on the side here. This pulley then connects to the actual harmonic balancer, which in the kit, it comes with a full belt kit pulley set. So you can see here, a new belt gets placed on this pulley. You have the standard spot for your V-belt, which is for your alternator. So you got two belts running off that pulley now. And then of course the ancillary items that go along with this. Now, you might notice that there is no intake system over here. And that is because I'm gonna be doing a fuel injected setup on this uh, on the supercharger. I'll get into what kind of throttle body injection, how all that stuff's gonna be working um, once I get that kit. Um, but for right now, as you can see, we've got the supercharger in here in the US, I'm really excited about it. Now you can see the intake manifold on the bottom, fully bespoke. It has the two inlets that run to the two intake ports on your Mini. You have a belt tensioner right here, which will tension this belt, and it will actually allow the pulley to actually manipulate the supercharger and increase that boost. And then on this side, I elected to have him install a charge cooler. So you can see there's two fittings here, and this is going to be a separate circuit than my normal cooling system. I'm gonna get into all of this, don't worry. So all the details that I'm telling you now, I've got tons more to tell you as we start to build the engine. However, these two fittings are what is gonna be cooling that air um, prior to it entering the uh, intake system. And uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be pretty rad. I can't wait to see all this put together. But um, I wanna say a huge, huge thank you to uh, VMAX Escart. He got me this stuff really, really quick, and he's been a pleasure to work with. I'm sure that I'm gonna have tons more questions for him over the course of this build, but you might also notice there is a camshaft here. Now this camshaft um, also came from Stuart, and uh, it is the VM264. From my understanding, he modified this in some way. I'm not actually certain about the details on that, so I will get that stuff to you guys. But this camshaft is made to complement the power curve of the supercharger. And to be completely honest with you guys, I am just over the moon. I'm so excited about this. I cannot wait to put this on the car. Um, obviously, a long way to go. We gotta set up the whole block, get it line board, blah, 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 blah. Lots to do there. But yeah, if you guys have questions about this in the comment section, please let me know. Um, I'm really excited. I wanna talk about this. I've been dying to share this with you guys for a while. In fact, you guys might have seen on my Instagram, which is popping up in the corner now, if you wanna follow me, I have posted some hints that I was doing this, that I was doing a supercharged kit. So it's great to be able to finally release that secret. A lot of you might ask, why am I using a supercharger over a turbocharger? Well, let me first say, that I think both of them are awesome. I think that either one would have been really fun, but the reason I chose a supercharger is because of the linear power delivery and the way that I personally drive my Mini. And what I'm talking about when I say that is that I want my power lower, I want my power sooner, because I don't drive my car flat out at the top end basically ever. Um, I drive it on the highway you know, sometimes and I use it to pass occasionally, but for the most part, I want my power low so that I can get into a corner and really punch it and I still have that power to pull me out. And it just suits my driving style much more than say a turbocharger would. That said, I'm sure I'd be more than happy with a turbocharger, but for this build, supercharging it all the way. But I will say the next one might be a turbo just so I can learn that process as well. But that is gonna be pretty much it for this episode of Classic Mini DIY. I'm pretty excited. I wanted to share this with you guys. I don't have a lot more stuff to share with you because we got to get some parts ordered, got to save up some money. If you haven't seen, my early 998 engine is for sale and uh, it is Wednesday right now. So it is gonna be ending on Friday. Very excited about that. Um, if you guys are interested in a 998 engine for maybe a full nut and bolt restoration, that is for sale. Link is in the description. The link to VMAX is also in the description. So if you guys wanna pick up a kit like this for your car, um, head over to that link. Tell Stuart I sent you. Um, he, is, he was really nice, gave me all sorts of information, learned a lot. 
um, learned a lot about what I want in my car. And yeah, show him a little bit of love if this is something you think and you might wanna do. And then just to remind you guys, I do have my Christmas sweaters, first annual ones available on the merch store now. So if you wanna help support getting this done in a timely manner, um, you know, head over there, pick yourself up a t-shirt or a sweater. Um, I've got keychains, and I mean, there's all sorts of stuff on the merch store I'm really proud of. And I will say anyone who uses the link in this video will get 10% off anything in the merch store. Literally any product, it'll go 10% off the entire order. And uh, as my way to say thank you and uh, happy Christmas. Obviously it's a little bit premature for Christmas, but I want to say thank you and uh, make sure that you can pick up stuff before Christmas rolls around. But anyways, that is gonna wrap up this episode. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next forced induction build or maybe something a little special coming up here soon. So until then, enjoy those minis and motor on.